Here is what we have in store on this week's VA News. VA wants input from veterans of the 1990-91 Gulf War to improve their care and treatment. Almost canceled, the 27th National Veterans Golden Age Games went off in Buffalo without a hitch. And we have a wrap-up of Memorial Day 2013. I'm Sue Wong with the Office of Information and Technology. And I'm Prince Taylor with the Office of Operations, Security and Preparedness. Those stories and more are coming your way in a few minutes, so stay with us. VA wants input from veterans of the 1990-91 to Gulf War on the recently released 2012 report of the Gulf War Veterans Illnesses Task Force. The task force has worked continuously over the past year to improve care and services to Gulf War veterans. The task force solidified the framework for organizing and synchronizing its efforts with ongoing operations of VA. The framework of the task force 2011 and 2012 reports is composed of these lines of effort. Clinical care with the emphasis on specialty services and primary care, clinical education and training, veteran benefits, veteran outreach, partnership with DOD, ongoing scientific review and surveillance, sources of data related to veterans' health, and research and development. You can read or download the 2012 report and give feedback at the website on the screen. The city of Buffalo, New York, was happy to get a second chance to host the 27th National Veterans Golden Age Games, May 30th through June 4th. The event for veterans over 55 almost didn't happen, as VA planned to cancel the popular event in the face of economic woes. An outcry from veterans put the games back on track, and 700 showed up in Buffalo to compete in 15 sporting events over six days. People you meet are the, the camaraderie and the friendship that you gain here is, is very valuable. And the sportsmanship is just really good. It, it's therapeutic for you. It just uh, it gives you something to do, and it, it keeps you active, and not only physically but mentally. You know, a lot of people don't realize that exercise alleviates that pressure around your joints. It strengthens those tendons where you won't need to get operated on. The VA uh, was a big help to me, and we've got good doctors, and, uh, and they, they're dedicated. You know. And the idea, again, is to just get veterans out here, give them some exposure to a sport that many of them probably haven't ever been exposed to before. This is the best uh, group therapy in the world, talking to these old guys from World War II and some of the younger guys in their 50s, you know, it's, uh, it's a, a great feeling, great feeling. The June edition of VA's award-winning weekly video news magazine is now available for viewing. One of the stories is about a new VA program to identify and repurpose excess properties to help homeless veterans. The story focuses on how that program will house veterans in need in the Minneapolis area in the near future. Check it out. Jerry Redmond served three years in the Marine Corps during the Vietnam War. But he says the hardest battle he fought was during the four years he spent without a place to live, homeless in his hometown of Minneapolis. I don't want him to remember what it was like in the past. Not long ago, Jerry Redman was just one of as many as 700 veterans who sleep on the streets of Minnesota each night. All without a home, many without hope. Well, let's just say that you learn what hotels you can get into with the closest bathroom to the door so you can go in and get squared away and, and then just go out. It's a daily effort to find their next meal or where they're going to sleep that night, um, where to clean up. So those are the things that if, if you don't have the, that, then you can't work on anything else. 
But now, using these abandoned buildings, VA is offering new hope to Minnesota's homeless veterans. 12 miles from downtown Minneapolis sits Minnesota's most historic fort. Founded in the early 1800s, Fort Snelling was the center of the state's military presence for more than a century. Even today, its legacy has not been lost. You'd be hard pressed to find a school child in Minnesota who hasn't been to the historic fort and who hasn't seen these buildings, or anyone for that matter who's been to the airport and driven past the site and looked and seen those buildings and wondered what is going on there, why isn't something happening. I've wondered it myself for years. So did the VA, which saw in these buildings both the past and the promise. When I came into this job you know, three years ago and I looked at it, everything is in such good shape. You know, the wood is solid, the beams that they've held for over 100 years. That made Fort Snelling an ideal location for VA's Building Utilization Review and Repurposing Initiative, otherwise known as BURR. Launched in 1991, its goal is to take underutilized VA property all across the U.S. and repurpose it to help homeless veterans. At Fort Snelling, these houses, once used for quartermasters, will be remodeled into new homes, and these horse stables, which the American Cavalry once used, will soon be apartments, marking the first time these buildings have been used since World War II. I've been on a lot of bases, and nowhere that I've been has got history that goes back as far as here. And it's all well documented. To walk around and know that, you know, hey, this is how it looked 100 years ago is really cool. Some water damage, but the ceiling itself is fine. So are the project's plans which call for rehabbing five buildings total into 58 units, ranging from efficiency apartments to three-bedroom homes. These truly will be homes, and because Fort Snelling is close to both the Minneapolis VA Medical Center and to the city's light rail system, the veterans who live there will have easy access to the things they need, and hopefully to a new start. Just patience. It'll, when it happens and you get those keys in your hand, it'll all be worth it to have a place of your own. You don't have to worry about sleeping with one eye open or somebody stealing your stuff or, you know, it's just, it's just good. Good that on the site of Minnesota's military past, its military veterans now have a new future. Matt Webb is the host of the new edition of the American Veteran. You can see the show on the VA homepage. Just click on Media Room then video. It can also be found at these web addresses for the VA YouTube page, VA's Knowledge Network, the Contact Distribution Network, and the Pentagon Channel. The newest edition of Still Serving, the VA's bi-monthly show, is about separated service members who continue to serve their fellow veterans. Jasmine Booth, an Army captain whose military service ended at 13 years when she was diagnosed with cancer, fought through a number of personal tragedies. She now dedicates her life to helping her sisters in need. Here's a brief introduction to Jasper Booth. On this Still Serving, we take a look into the life of Army Captain Jasper Booth and her fight through multiple personal tragedies which inspired her to help her sisters in need. The hardest part was reaching out for supportive services and, and finding out that America had forgotten about the women. They had forgotten about our service and sacrifice, and they had forgotten about my sisters who had fought, bled, and died alongside our brothers. Still Serving can be found on the VA's homepage, www.va.gov. Just click on Media Room, then Video. You can also view it on the VA YouTube page, VA's Knowledge Network, the Content Distribution Network, and the Pentagon Channel. We have a few more images from VA cemeteries and facilities of Memorial Day 2013 to share with you. Take a look.
VA has a new look YouTube page, home for all of the videos for and about VA and veterans and the issues affecting them. The content of the YouTube page is organized to be more accessible. Here's an introduction to the page, which you can also view on the YouTube site. Welcome to the Department of Veterans Affairs YouTube page. Here you can find all sorts of video produced by or for VA, stories about veterans and VA employees, and news from VA headquarters and its facilities nationwide. Our content is organized in a way that makes sense. Playlists will help you find the videos you want to see. Looking for benefits information? Start with the benefits playlist cemeteries and burial eligibility information on the National Cemeteries Playlist, health information on the Veterans Health Playlist. Be sure to check out our award-winning programs, VA News and Face Behind the File, Emmy Award winner, The American Veteran, and our newest feature, Still Serving, about separated service members still serving their fellow veterans. Stay connected with us. Subscribe now to ensure you keep up with the latest video from VA. That's our show for this week. Thank you for watching. I'm Sue Wong. And I'm Prince Taylor. Have a nice day and thank you for all you do to help our nation's veterans.